up in this studio, if I look like I'm sweating, it's because I have been dancing. It's a serious workout up in here. It's a wonderful Friday. It is Good Friday, I say. It is a holiday. And we're here to entertain you guys as you sit at home. So please do remember that you can reach out to us. You're going to um, hashtag Social Friday, hashtag Random Friday, and hashtag Y in the morning. And you can do so on Facebook, Y254 channel. On Twitter, you can find us on Y254 channel. And also, remember that you can find us on Instagram, that is Y254 underscore channel, on DSTV channel 376. Please do subscribe on YouTube. And remember that we are at Polari Sky Hotel today. And we've got wonderful things that are going on. We have three prizes that we're giving to the young people who are going to tell us why and who they want to bring to Panari Sky for this particular holiday and what we're going to be giving out is either movie tickets I'm hearing there's dinner or pizza there's also ice skating tickets it's just amazing stuff because we love you guys and we're here for you guys and say we're gonna give you guys a wonderful shout out and we're also going to give you a, a chance to check out what's happening in Panari Sky my name is Joy Mochache. You can find me on Twitter, uh, Twitter Joy underscore Mochache. I am with BDJ Khalifa. See there? Yeah, man. The, yes. the main man. <laughs> yes, the main man. And today, I want to introduce our guest to you. Her name is Miss Jean Ojiro. She is a wonderful, very tall lady, and she's very beautiful. And remember, you guys, we told you guys that it's a random Friday, and so she's into a whole bunch of other, she, um, a whole bunch of stuff. She's not pegged into one particular area, and that's why she's on our set today, this morning. She is a commercial model. She is actually a YouTuber. She's going to tell us what her brand is on YouTube. Karibu sana, Miss Jean Ojira. Thank you. Wow, what a beauty, man. <laughs> Thank you so oh much. Oh my gosh, I think I've complimented her too much today. Mm? <laughs> Wow, I love your look. I love your swag. Everything. Thank you. Yes. How tall are you? Can I ask? Uh, 5'11". Without this, with this, I'm like 6'1". 5'11 without, without the heels. Yeah. And then with the heels, you're 6'1". 6'1", 6'2". I'm not scared of my ninja. My ninja is a lady. My ninja is a lady. Hey, Jose. Like, you're just tall. See if you're... Tunatoshana. Tunatoshana. <laughs> so, uh, uh, tuko, tuko almost. almost. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so, na expect ka chali ka kuyapo kanusu nusu hivu. Ah, chai zo. Ah, mazi haezi kosa. You kidding me, haezi kosa. I did, I forgot to mention that our guest is actually a dancer. But we're going to focus a lot on the uh, YouTube aspect as well as a commercial modeling aspect. Let's dive right in. Say yeah. Oh. oh my gosh, Miss Jane, let me ask you, how yeah. long have you been doing commercial modeling to begin with? Um, it's been approximately half a year. Half a year only? Yeah, just half a year, but uh -huh. in that half a year I feel like I've achieved quite a bit. Okay. Yeah. So the thing uh, about me was I was so fascinated by ads before and the mistake I had was hoping that one day I'd be discovered. So it's hoping. Exactly, hoping. And that's the mistake that so many people have. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So one day, as I, I think I was watching an ad or something, and I said, oh, I'd love to be on an ad. And my sister said, then you should go get signed, because nothing is going to happen to you where you're sat. Mm -hmm. So we actually went to an agency, and I was signed. And last year, I went for so many auditions, and luckily, two of them were successful. Mm -hmm. And they were really, really amazing brands to work with, Safaricom, Guinness, and Coke. Safaricom, Guinness, and Coke. Yeah. And wow, three, as in bam, 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 you just <laughs> got them, eh? Yeah. Is that where I've seen you on a Coke ad? Have you? Yeah, that's where I've seen you. <laughs> I was like, no, man, your face is way too familiar up in the street, man. <laughs> oh, okay, see. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're a celebrity up in Oh, okay. okay. So please, can we continue to talk about your modeling career? Yeah. I kept telling you when you're outside that, yes, you did tell me your, your commercial model, and I was like, no, man, your international standards are going to me. Like, if I was the one who was sourcing models out, if I was the one who was, you know, the owner of Vogue or Chanel or something, I'd be like, hey. Get me that one there. Uh -huh. mm. So please tell me, how has it been? And do you have any plans for venturing into the international um, modern world? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Actually, it's my goal for this year, by the end of the year, to have gotten an international modeling gig. Yes. And I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that I could venture into runway modeling. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So definitely, oh. definitely hoping mm -hmm. I can get an international gig by the end of this year. By the end of this year. Yeah. Can I ask you, are there Kenyan models who have gone out there who you feel that you aspire to, that you look up to, or it doesn't have to be a Kenyan model, is there a particular international model that you look up to? Naomi, definitely. Naomi? Mm. Girl, oh my gosh, Definitely. Definitely. I know I don't have the height, but I think it was like two days ago I was uh -huh. watching her do the um, 
the Roberto Cavalli show. That girl can strut. Hey, and I she looks she younger walks. than me. Yes. And How? She's like 40 what? Like, oh my god. I can understand why she's a role model yeah. for you. She's just, she's so flawless. Like, I just love watching her. Okay. She's definitely, definitely yeah. her. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also, let me ask you, do you have um, a particular interest mm -hmm. when it comes to, how can I say, helping Kenyans out when it comes to the modeling um, industry? Because I know our industry, when it comes to modeling, is not very seasoned. There's still some things we need to clear up a bit, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to things like contracts. And um, sometimes yeah. our girls, they, they're being told, oh, yeah, Mazze, I'm going to sign up to be a model. You've got all the goods. You're perfect. And, you know, she falls for the whole trick. Mm -hmm. She goes and follows this person. And it's a scam. How can one tell the difference between a real modeling gig and a scam? I feel like you should always have someone to help you. I personally, whenever I get a job or someone who wants to work with me, I ask my sister. Mm -hmm. So, yes. And a lot of people don't realize how important having a contract is. Whenever I'm asked to do a job or I get a job, I make sure that one, I have a contract mm -hmm. and I take photos of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. a lot of people sign the contract and give it back mm -hmm. and there's nothing that you have to show for it. Right. Exactly, so you're always supposed to take photos of it because it'll show the time maybe you're supposed to be paid, the duration that for example, if it's a commercial, how long it's supposed to run for, and such things shouldn't be breached. So you should always, always try to find someone, maybe if you know someone who can actually legally help you as well to see whether it's true, to help you. But I feel like you should never, ever, ever do any job, no matter how small, without a contract. Without a contract. Yes. No matter how small, it must have a contract. It must have a contract. Right. And that's important for our viewers to know, because I know there are a lot of young girls out there who want yeah. to venture into modeling. Like, any, there's also a lot of scammers out there who yeah. scam our young girls. Always so thank you for pointing contract. that out. And speaking of um, doing things properly in our industry, let's move into a different area that okay. you're into. So you're a multifaceted woman. You're also a YouTuber, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about your brand on YouTube? Yeah. So actually, um, I started my YouTube channel. It's about to hit three years. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. So the way I started my channel was a bit funny. I started mm -hmm. it out as a dance channel. Okay. So there's this uh, dance dancer, if mm -hmm. I can call him that. Is a, he's called Matt Stefanina. And I was, uh, yeah, do you know him? No, I just <laughs> like the name, Mr. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I was obsessed with watching his dance videos. Okay. And the thing I liked most about him was that other than other dancers, he would put tutorials of his dance videos. So each time he'd put a tutorial out, I'd spend like three, four days. <laughs> three, four days in the kitchen trying mm -hmm. to learn the routine. Mm -hmm. Then I'd post it on my channel and looking back at those videos, they weren't the best. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah, they weren't the best. Uh -huh. And at that time, I was really, really shy in front of the camera. Like right. I couldn't speak to the camera. So I'd just dance. I wouldn't even do an intro or anything. Mm. And as time went by, I realized that I was getting more and more confident to speak. That's when I actually started vlogging and doing different kinds of sit down videos because I realized that I was more comfortable to speak to the camera so up until now sometimes I do vlogs sometimes I do dance videos it's kind of a balance mm -hmm. yeah. sometimes vlogs, well, sometimes dance videos yeah all right then I guess we have to talk about both okay don't we okay, okay so when it comes to your dance videos you said that you, sh you should come in no intro nothing and then you just switch off the camera but <laughs> done. Uh, tell us about your learning experiences because now you've had to move out of that. You've had to be a more seasoned and a better, um, how can I say, someone who is well versed when it comes to YouTube. Mm -hmm. What are some of the challenges you had when you were, I guess, trying to transition from this amateur YouTuber into a professional YouTuber? One of the biggest challenges that I've had, and I have to date is sometimes you'll spend two days sleepless editing a vlog and think it's perfect. Wow. And then people don't even like it. And you're like, mm, you're crushed. My chest. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a big challenge. I feel like right. trying to find something because no matter what you put out, there's definitely people who like it and mm. people who will not. Yeah. But each time it hurts when people don't, don't you know, because yeah, regardless, you're like, I put so much effort into this. Of course. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So that's some of the stuff that you've experienced mm -hmm. when it comes to challenges. So when it comes to vlogging, mm -hmm. 
what what uh why did you pick the topic that you picked when it comes to vlogging because okay. sometimes people you know like um if i open a cooking channel there's a reason why i've opened right. it maybe my mom was into it then i grew up being into it so right. i decided to you know open one so yours started with dancing and then mm -hmm. it became a vlogging channel yeah and so how did that come how did uh the whole youtube journey come along okay so my vlogging aspect is in two ways mm -hmm. one is like lifestyle basically what i do day to day and mm -hmm. two is fashion okay. so i can sort about uh fashion definitely i'm really into fashion i can see <laughs> you look pretty dope Thank you. Uh -huh. So I like looking good. Mm -hmm. So I usually try to get unique topics like a DIY to turn this into that or how mm -hmm. to style this because I feel like it reflects me directly. Right. Yeah. And the other aspect of my life is just my lifestyle vlogs, mm -hmm. which is literally taking people to my day to day activities. I know which question I want to ask from that lifestyle, but continue. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, taking people through my day-to-day -day activities and I feel like that's what people enjoy the most, mm -hmm. just seeing the real you, you know, you do normal things mm -hmm. at a normal place mm -hmm. and I feel like it's just, I enjoy sharing what I do with people. Okay, Yeah. that's great. And, and since you enjoy sharing what you do with people <laughs> and you have a lifestyle um, area mm -hmm. that you vlog about i'm not going to ask any very personal questions no, okay. but i will ask because when we we're talking out there i was like you have a bomb body and everything do you have a routine that you follow for your workout are there certain foods you keep off of because i know me <laughs> if i'm going to have to look like that there's wow a lot of work i need to do and so can you please share with us some of your secrets kamakunas or am i you just naturally born one of those <laughs> So firstly, definitely genetic, I have to say. And this year, I've actually really, really, Please really... Please Pardon? The first thing you said? Genetic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Firstly, it's genetic, because okay. my mom has a really nice body, and she has four kids. Aha, uh -huh, so you got it from her. Uh, she looks better so than I do. So mom, after four kids, is still <laughs> flat tummy. Wow, she go, girl. Mm. And then uh, this year, I've really, really, really been trying to work out, because uh -huh. I personally love junk food. Yani <laughs> chiko, I can have that every day. <laughs> so I've really, really, really been trying to work out mm -hmm. and been trying to avoid food that isn't the best for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'd really, I'd like to encourage people to try that. Like, don't just start one day and say, today I'm not eating this and that. Today I'm going to work out every day of this week. Like, just start slowly. And I feel like gradually it'll start getting into your system. Mm -hmm. Like, I started in January and I still miss some days sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to be more consistent. Uh -huh. But it's a challenge. It's a but challenge. it's definitely possible. It's possible. Yeah. So you do work out and you do eat, right? And also some, some of it is genetics. Yeah, try to eat okay. right. <laughs> try to eat right. Yeah. Uh, apart from the chuchipo, kukando kando. Once uh -huh. ah. in a while. Okay. So, so uh, can we talk about your Instagram page? I see has been pulled up. Oh, okay. Genie. <laughs> so it says, dancing makes me happy with a nice smiley emoji. Uh -huh. And then I can see fashion page is uh, very underscore me, underscore fashion. Mm -hmm. I can see dancer. I can see stylist and model. Okay. The area we haven't talked about is stylist. Yes, you you know, you're into fashion and everything, but yeah. what about the stylist area? Okay, so I've not done too much in the styling department, but mm -hmm. from time to time people come to me from like style of advice mm -hmm. and things of the like and I feel like I'm usually better at giving style advice <laughs> than physically styling people. Ah. Yeah. Ah, okay. So you don't like go and get a couple of outfits for whichever, you know, celebrity. And no, no. You no. just kind of point it out like you might want to pair this with this that. This or that, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see. What was that? Is that you doing a handstand? It's a dance video. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. I think I think our producers are trying to play. Let's watch. Okay. I'm interested <laughs> in that. That looks hard to do, man. It's not. I Jean, surely. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it really isn't, honestly. Your knees need to be on another level. Your knees. Uh? Sometimes the knees hurt. Yes, because that's a lot of knee action. Yeah, but then I feel like the body slowly adjusts. The more you do it, mm. the more your body adjusts. Mm. Okay, you go, girl. <laughs> a little uh, booty pop. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's dope. You're really talented. Thank you. You're really talented. Ah. These are actually two dances that I mixed up mm -hmm. from two different classes that I attended. The first one is by a girl called Ayoma. 
Ayoma. Yeah, and the second one is by a gentleman called Neddy. Mm. So I attend dance classes by them. What, what kind of style of dancing is that? I don't know if I could call it a mix of Afro. Yeah, it's something like Afro fusion kind of. Afro fusion with something. Yeah. Afro and contemporary something. Yeah. Ah, okay. Wow, Jean, the stylist, the dancer, the model. <laughs> ha! This is Ruby. Okay. I love watching her dance. She has so much like attitude when she dances. I love it. You can see the attitude. Yeah, oh, I love it. She's also very fluid. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Looks like water. This is actually after a dance class. So mm -hmm. we learned this routine and then we were shooting it. But this is a nice way to keep fit. Yeah. I think if you're doing this like a couple of times a week, I don't even know if you need to hit the gym. Four times a week. Yeah, I don't think you need to hit the gym. It's a pretty good uh, workout. Yeah? Yeah. So this is what you do in your free time? Mm-hmm. Okay, sour, sour. Hi, Jean. Now let's talk about serious things before we move into our game. Sour, um, sour. Hiya. Um, you know, when it comes to the modeling industry and the challenges that our youth are facing, mm -hmm. We had talked a little bit outside, and I want you to touch on that issue again. When it comes to younger people, okay. people who have dreams, and you know people have dreams. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the, the beautiful girls out there who are tall, who maybe have really beautiful bone structure, who could also make it as a model. But, mm. you know, they don't have the confidence that you do. And maybe they don't have the know-how that you do because okay. you have that know-how. Matter since you pick a contract photo, <laughs> you nini, you know, they don't have that know-how. Mm. Mm. So now, um, if you could encourage them just a little bit, I would really appreciate that because that's what this channel is all about. Okay. Because when you say wana rauka, wana rauka kutwata hapa, you know, but they're your age mates, and you, you've woken up, you've trodden your way down here, and that's what made you who you are today. Okay. Yeah. Do you mind giving our people a little jab of? encouragement. Yeah, I definitely don't mind. Mm. That's your camera, babe. Ah, so I face that. Mm. Okay. So firstly, what I'd like to say is if you want to do it, the only thing you should do is it. Just do it. You know, a lot of people spend so much time wondering, should I, should I not? If you're thinking about it, then you should be doing it. Just look for that confidence to do it. And then another thing about uh, modeling, either commercial or runway, whichever you'd want to venture into, I feel like you should do a little bit of research about it. Mm -hmm. Go look for agencies. I'm sure when you search it, like Google it, you'll find mm -hmm. so many different agencies. The thing is, you're able to approach them. It's not a must for them to approach you. So you can actually find their emails and the likes, send them their portfolio, your portfolio, sorry, and tell them that you might be interested in working with them. A lot of agencies have that in their bio. They ask you to send them their portfolio, and if they're interested in working with you, then they will. And then I feel like you have to be really, really, really persistent. Like, I go for at least one audition per week. And if it's not fruitful, don't lose hope, because you can't get every job that you go to apply for. I'm certain everybody who's big anywhere has gotten so, so, so many no's, but I'm never, ever discouraged. Like, yesterday, I went for two auditions. Just always keep trying, keep trying, and the only person you have to believe in is yourself. Don't feel like because someone else told you you can't do it or someone else feels like you're not good enough to do anything. Don't let that ever, ever discourage you. So basically, if you want to go for it, just do it, and the time is now. You'll never be ready. There's never going to be like, oh, let me do it next week, I'll be ready. No, if you feel like doing it now, just do it now. That's the best I can give for now. Ah, thank you. That's powerful advice. <laughs> I'm seeing that you touched on procrastination. And your yeah. procrastination is... Is a, is a serious issue for you. Serious. You say, dance the next week, dance the next month, and dance the next year, and then like it's five years down the, the, you the lane. Not like, to me, do, um, I'd like to ask you one last very important question, yes. and then we're going to take a break, and then we're going to start our game after the break. I and that last games. question is, you love games? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm so happy. Mm, thank you for being psyched. Even me, I'm psyched. Are you for psyched? Civile. Civile. OK, love your honesty, man. This guy makes my Friday every Friday. It's just real. It tells it like it is. Kai wezi, ay wezi. Kai wezi, ay wezi. How you feel, how you feel. Mm -hmm. Hi, my dear. That last question is this. Yeah. What are your plans for the next two years? Because you've spoken to people that they should stop procrastinating. That means that they need to sit down. They need to get a diary. You now need to start having a planner. Exactly. You need to start putting appointments down. You need to use, you need to use your alarm clock now. 
if you have to, you know. Mm. So, Tafadali, uh, what are your plans for the next two years? You seem like a very ambitious person. Yeah, definitely. Mm. So, my plans for the next two years, uh, firstly, is definitely to still be doing YouTube. Yeah. Hopefully having my channel growing a little bit more. Uh -huh. Secondly, I'm hoping to be international in terms of modeling, as you'd asked me before. It's something that I'm really, really, really thinking about. And thirdly, I'm hoping to be studying media. Okay. Yes, because that's something that I'd like to do as well. Aha. Uh -huh. Media yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh, you do great. You I'd do want great. to study media journalism. Journalism. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. You do great in the so industry. Those are my three plans for the uh, two years to come. Where do you want to study? USIU or Daystar? Ah, uh -huh, okay. Yeah. Okay, go to Daystar. You'll find me. <laughs> cool kids. <laughs> <laughs> but on a serious note, Mazi, thank you so much for um, giving that advice. We're thank going to go you. on a short break right now. And Lafu Tuki Rudy, we're going to loosen up the reins up in the studio and play a game. Please stay tuned. Why two five four? Imagine.